Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? For the cheapest coins anywhere, check out MMOEXP.com and use code ZERK for 5% off your order. Link is in the description. The whole thing wobbing. absolutely massive gameplay today guys we have five of the new all madden players on the team i do want to give a shout out to toby reef for being a part of the noti gang if you guys want a chance to shout out in the next video drop a like in the vid make sure you guys are sub to the channel to the below and comment down below noti gang also guys tonight we do have thursday night football and if you've not already checked out underdog fantasy now's the perfect time to do so using code zerk will double your first deposit up to 500 dollars and if you guys sign up right now before thursday night football you will get this derrick henry point 0.5 total yard special for tonight also make sure you guys follow me over on twitter underdog's been running a lot of flash specials which are only available for like 30 minutes and you don't want to miss out on those check out underdog use code zerk follow me on twitter for my picks and don't miss out on halftime picks all right so as you guys see we have kurt warner who is one of the many players in the team by the way all these like strat boosts whatever i have the strategy card for all madden you guys give me the field pass works for two weeks uh we have 97 throw power in kurt warner crazy i also have the rookie premier strategy card from madden 23 can't get any more and then uh creed humphrey plus one throw packs that's i have plus six stats look pretty good 70 speed obviously cannot run very well but in terms of abilities guys set feet lead it is three ap yesterday said it was gonna be four on the graphic but it's three so essentially if you don't know what this is right you kind of need gunslinger he has generic to release it's not good but we have gunslinger and set feet lead for a total of five ap i'm not running gift wrapped on him because they actually improved catching today i haven't played a game yet but they improved catching so i'm hoping that you don't need uh gift wrapped anymore we'll see about that but set feet lead essentially what it does is once you release the ball it zooms okay the ball is going to be flying and with gunslinger that ball is going to be out like that he also does get hyra master fearless and qb playmaker uh you can unlock that extra ability bucket with either a token from the field pass or 3000 training we're running pro reads on him uh here is team cams good card as i said we have five cards i'm gonna try to go pretty quickly through all these ronnie lot 92 speed 93 man 95 zone again any boosts are from that strategy card uh ronnie lot looks really really good he has 91 block shed we are also running pick artist on him any of these that you don't see me like upgrading here with training it's because i just don't really feel like the abilities are worth it team chems we also have Derek thomas not running any abilities on him 90 speed 95 finesse move 95 block shed michael irvin very excited to have him on the squad we have 93 deep route running 92 speed six foot two running double me on him but no extra abilities uh in his bucket here he does get like acrobat which is kind of weird but yes acrobat uh route tech for four ap it's just not worth the ap and finally guys reggie white 85 speed 95 power move 95 block shed him we actually did use the extra ability slot because he gets inside stuff for two ap does get edge start elite it's not worth four ap uh, i'm running him at dt i have the secondary cam here for right end just because that's where he is in my lineup but really he's gonna play dt team cams let's get into this all right so let's get this guys we are playing mud champs by the way yes you can use those like cards with the strategy card boost whatever in mud champs and head-to-head -head, whatever you don't have to play like just the event as you guys see we are in mud champs right here that's my opponent's top three and uh my top three it's pretty scary so i'm very very excited to be out here with the kurt warner by the way we also have the maxed out randy moss we have cd lamb uh and we have michael Irvin. so i'm really really excited to really showcase for you guys oh man he uh unfortunately so just usered on michael Irvin right there now i will say this set feed lead is absolutely incredible but you do kind of have to get used to it because it's gonna throw off your timing sometimes you might throw a pass knowing it's gonna take a minute to like get to the receiver well it's not going to anymore like you guys will see right here second and ten coming up as here once again he's kind of usering on it but i'm gonna throw it anyways and michael Irvin way too fast so michael Irvin already with a deep touchdown reggie white with a tackle already but he tried to use her on it and then just kind of gave up on it i don't think he thought that we could throw it that far but yes we absolutely can as he's gonna be open i am very very curious to see how this pass rush works out here with reggie white in the middle we also have Derek thomas really hoping to see some pass rush as micah gets the hit oh and by the way with the title update today i'm pretty sure they did something to bring back uh like d-line picks i'm pretty sure they made some sort of like tuning to that so uh if Derek thomas ends up grabbing an interception or reggie white and we run that back for a touchdown that'd be pretty sick third down and six coming up though looking out over the middle gonna swap back to that and avante maddox 
Very easy interception. Now you guys may have noticed on that first drive there with that, you know, touchdown pass to Michael Irvin, how much quicker that ball got there, but you may have not. So we're going to try to test things out a little bit more here as that's going to be a pick. Classic, classic, classic. Xerxes gameplay, interception. Bank on it every time. See, now, I really thought that was going to be the perfect place to showcase for you guys uh, the ball getting there a lot quicker with a set feet lead, but yeah, great user played by him. But yeah, essentially, it allows you to kind of fit it in between zones a lot quicker, and also, if you just get like any bit of separation versus man coverage, you'll definitely notice it here in this gameplay, but classic, man. If you uh, tune into a Zerk gameplay, always expect to see an interception. It's like a guarantee as Tyler Higby. Down to the one. All right, now he's down to the one yard line. I'm run committing. I fully expect this guy to run the football right here. Is he going to run? I know he's running. Th these are fake audibles. Yep. Oh, he actually is going to throw the football. And he just threw a pick. I ran commit and he threw a pick. I ran commit there and he ended up throwing an interception. We're just going to run it. Pick up a couple of yards. Second down and seven. We're just trying to pick up more yardage here. Let's just see. If we can move the ball down the field, we have CD open right there. Great block by Kyle Pitts. Good juke move by CD. CD Lamb, what a play. We're going to get caught, though. Yeah, we're, we're too tight. Oh, no. You've got to be I literally, I should have went down, but I literally was holding right bumper there to try to protect the ball. What a play there by CD Lamb. But once again, you guys saw how fast, like, the ball actually got there. If you're not noticing it, you got to go play with the Kurt Warner by yourself, and you'll actually tell. But I could tell right there, the ball got there a little bit quicker. That was, that was ridiculous. I, I can't believe we just made such a good play, and then we fumbled. Second down and two coming up, though. Let's see if he goes back to the run game here with Adrian Peterson. Maybe he's going to try, like, RPO. He's switching it up here. All right, this is this got to be a run, right? Maybe, like, a stretch, perhaps? Nope, not going to be a run play. I'm going to look out over the middle and pile him out with the swats. All right, so he's got the ball now at the 34. I'm going to try to run some man coverage. Let's see if we can run some man versus this guy. I think we've got him a little bit outmatched when it comes to the DBs versus the receivers. Second down in seven, though. Let's see what this guy has cooking up. He might try to take that quick fire to the running back. Not going to be open. And instead, Avante Maddox lets up that catch. All right, third down and three. Let's see if he tries to throw that corner route to the left side. It seems to be like his go-to in these situations. As I'm going to look out over the middle, a lot of routes there. Good play, Ronnie Lott with the hit stick. So he's now down to the 23 here. He's kind of dying. We'll see if we can get a stop, though. I'm going to look out for AP, and again, over the middle of the field. Good throw. Now, this is where we played some good defense before, though. Oh, this is going to be a run. Oh, 100%. This is going to be a run. RPO, look at what Reggie White just did. Reggie White not only just shed the block right there, he, like, completely threw aside the guard and got the tackle there for the sack. That was absolutely ridiculous. Derek Thomas coming around the edge. That was absolutely just crazy right there. Third and goal coming up at the seven, though. Let's see if we can get a stop. Got to look out for all these routes over here. Look at Derek Thomas with the pressure. We got a stop. We held him to three points. Derek Thomas came up big and Reggie White. Well, that was pretty crazy right there. The pass rush we generated down at the goal line as Kyle Pitts. Good catch right there. Again, slinging it in. If we can't continue to dot our way down the field here as Pickens is going to be open. That ball was a little weird. Well, that ball was definitely a little bit weird there as here we do have open underneath Randy Moss. More good jukes. No way. Why can I not hold onto the ball in this gameplay? That is the second fumble that we have had in this gameplay, dude. Come on. Now, the first fumble that we had, right? I can kind of understand that. I was tired whenever he chases down. There, that was just a couple jukes. Like, I wasn't exhausted. And then he made us fumble. He's going to get into the end zone. Nope, good stop. I mean, that's just crazy, man. He ran hurry up. He's not audible. -ing. Okay, now he's going to audible. Is this an RPO? Just a regular run? Nope, he is actually not running the ball at all, and that's out of bounds. Thank you. All right, second and goal here at the two-yard line. He is running this ball. I'm run committing one million percent. Reggie White is such a demon. Look at what Reggie White just did right there. Here now, every time that he's failed and then ran hurry up, he doesn't run it. He is going to throw the football here, third and goal. And yep, there he goes. He's looking to throw the ball. Look at Isaiah. He just stood there. Isaiah Palomau just stood there and... Uh, all right, as we have Michael Irvin open here, we're going to hit some more jukes. Do not fumble. Mike, 
If you get caught and you fumble, you are quick sold. Michael Irvin, thank you for not fumbling. I mean, we're able to move the ball, but apparently we just cannot hold on to it as here we're gonna try an RPO to Randy Moss. Could not have been any easier. And uh, by the way, you guys are seeing this correctly. It looks like the kick meter issue is back again where it completely just covers up the screen. They literally ran a patch to get rid of that and now it's back again. Like, come on. Let's see if he tries to do that again or what exactly this guy is going to be up to here. Maybe he'll even run the football. Either run the ball, throw it underneath, whatever he wants to try as... Wow, good dot. And can we get a fumble? This guy is definitely cooking up some dots, I'll tell you that, as he's already down to the 32. And down the middle of the field, Ronnie was there. I've been telling you guys this, and it still remains true. I can't stop anybody. Literally anybody that I play... I cannot get a stop on them. It is absolutely insane, as here we have Kyle Pitts open over the middle of the field, hit a little juke move there. Pitts, once again, we had one juke move, and we are gone. Do not fumble. I have literally never played a game like this before, where every time that I, like, throw to somebody on the run, it's just, like, almost a touchdown every time. I just hit one juke, and I'm gone every single time. As here, we're going to look to go to Michael Irvin, if we can, who just stopped running his slant. Tried to get it in there to Moss. Tried to fit it into Randy Moss. That did not work as here we have Kyle Pitts. Kyle Pitts for the TD. All right, so we're up 17 to 21 and my opponent gets the ball here to start off the second half. He's really been attacking the corners and like deep down the middle of the field as, okay, a play action. Was not expecting that. An accurate throw. Now, I'd really like to start sending some blitzes at this guy and see if we can get some pressure as Micah was right there. Micah was literally right there and couldn't come away with that INT as gonna come back across the middle. Night Train, come on. Come down and make a play on that ball, man. I wish that Night Train would come down there and make a play on that ball as my opponent here is going deep and somehow is able to fit that in all right good ball by my opponent as now he's down to the 17 and again like i said i can't stop literally anybody it does not matter if i face you you're probably scoring 20 points on me simple as that he's down to the 17 gonna motion over looking out across the middle and ed reed almost had another pick i can down in 10 this is gonna be bad i just got stuck on the d line and jair good knockout look at jair getting out there with the knockout man you love to see it as he's down to the 17 he hasn't ran the ball so he might nope he's not gonna run it and i'm right there with luke keekley you gotta love lurk artist man i was totally prepared for that and that's like the only way that i get stops like if someone doesn't throw my user i'm just not getting to stop as here he was totally ready for that rpo it just got blown up michael urban was completely covered as well which is why i didn't just throw it out there but second down and 15 i'm gonna try we might just throw this to ap and nope he's not gonna be open cd lamb what a dot now, i'll tell you this right now i don't recommend you guys do that right there what i did uh scrambling around with you know warner definitely not what you want to try to do as kyle pitts is going to be open here so third down and 20 coming up this dude has been able to get quite a bit of pressure on us here so we're gonna look to go deep obviously we kind of have to here but we also do have oh nobody pretty much nobody here uh this is gonna be risky but i'm gonna throw it See, now, it sounds crazy, but literally that might have been picked to the different quarterback. He was usering there on Vita Vea, so obviously the odds of him picking it are not very high. But yes, that could have potentially been intercepted right there. Uh, had I not had set feet lead on, he might have been able to get to the ball. Here, Michael Irvin get into the end zone. Oh, Ronnie Lott. I did not think that was going to be intercepted. I really thought that was going to be incomplete. So Ronnie Lott with a beautiful throw right there. By the way, we do have pro reads activated right now, which pretty much means as right there, that is just another perfect example of having set the lead. But it pretty much means that we have fearless right now. So pressure is not going to affect us at all. I'm going to try to go deep again. I want to go to like CD. Maybe we get Randy nope looks like neither of those guys we'll just take that real quick to kyle pitts and turn up the field kyle pitts guys we have almost 500 passing yards right now with kurt warner this is absolutely crazy once again kyle pitts what a throw we got another interception guys and now we have the ball at the 22 yard line kurt warner almost 500 passing yards is just 
crazy. I do want to try to get into the end zone here real quick so that way we can actually attempt to get 500 yards. Kyle Pitts with the catch. So we're now up 41 to 17 here, guys. We are just absolutely dominating right now. Kurt Warner. I want to get 500 passing yards. I feel like that would be absolutely insane. Palomau, good hit. My opponent ended up scoring, guys, and now we have the ball back with a minute left here. And uh, absolutely, I am just going to totally try to get 500 passing yards is Randy Moss. We're stepped out of bounds. We, we have 500. And we are. We have 516 passing yards. That's just, just absolutely ridiculous. Michael Irvin dropped it dang it so pretty insane stuff guys kurt warner 500 yards six touchdowns uh michael irvin four catches 170 yards two touchdowns i'd say that's pretty good right there and then defensively we had ronnie lott who got a pick had eight tackles a tackle for loss reggie white two tackles for loss and a sack it looks like Derek did not get a tackle so definitely a really really good gameplay let me know down below what you guys think of these cards kurt warner best quarterback in the game uh 10 feet lead you definitely notice it but hopefully you guys enjoyed the video drop a like on it hit that sub button down below check underdog fantasy use code zerk definitely pretty crazy if you enjoyed this video check out these